What's that? Excessive drinking. Yeah. yeah. And it's falling asleep outside. Yeah. Freezing and, to death. Yeah, and you can see some of my hair and stuff, but that's just to make make it even more scary so it looks like a zombie ghost. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this should be the it. most scary part about these costumes is <laughs> that they are so bad. Yeah. <laughs> we don't really celebrate Halloween in Denmark, but we thought we wanted to do something <laughs> stupid. But let's get this one cracked open. Now I'm looking forward to trying another uh, beer by you. Uh, Phantom. So, we got the Phantom Saison poured, their standard Saison. It's a really nice, like, what do you call it, golden orange? Oh, yeah. And S white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very white. <laughs> Everything is basically white now. <laughs> I think that's like ghost vision. But yeah. That sucks being dead. But, yeah, it's like hazy orange. Yeah. A little bit of... Yeah, yeah, a lot of haze, actually. A lot of haze. Uh, get a kind of golden tinge. Yeah, a little white head. A ni very nice looking beer, actually. Yeah, it actually looks like a more traditional Saison coffee. Okay. Maybe like a, a big beer kind of... Uh, yeah, very but it looks more traditional than the other Saisons, or the other one we had from. Yeah. But yeah, let's check out the aroma on this one. <laughs> I'm gonna extend my uh, ghostly nose. <laughs> Wow, that smells really interesting. Yeah. That is different. That is super funky. Wow. It kind of have that grassy pilsner kind of uh, yeah. hoppiness to it. It kind of, it has some leathery notes too, but not as much as the Black Ghost. No. But it, it also have a kind of, um, uh, well, I lost that train of thought. Let me, o o almost a very weird kind of smokiness to it. Yeah. No? But not a, a meaty smoke, but a, you know, like a cigarette smoke. I'm like picking up on almost like strawberries or something weird, like a generic kind of berry funk. Oh, yeah, I just got that as well, yeah. And citrusy notes and that like that wet hay and barnyard. I mean, Phantom beers are so weird. Yeah. This smells really interesting though. And some tartness too, like green apple or pear. Or yeah, pear notes. Ready to give this a ghastly taste yeah. from beyond the grave. I just hope it doesn't pull straight through me. <laughs> Me need all. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> wow. wow, that's weird. That is ghastly weird. No. I get that berry. Yeah, berry kind of. Uh, berry. Lots of strawberry. Yeah, kind of th that berry sweetness. Kind of uh, strawberry fruitiness as well. But it also has a very citrusy and pilsner hoppy kind of uh, note to it as well. Now we didn't research this. This is re really spontaneous. This review here, yeah. even though we're dead, so we couldn't really expect to find any in any beer in the in the, in the nether life. But we did. So that I don't know if this is made with strawberries or something like that. Maybe because it is phantom beer. Yeah, and we had to drink it fast because death is actually trying to find us to get this beer, brother. Yeah, screw him. And also because we're only in purgatory, we're not, we haven't gone to heaven or hell yet, so... Well, I think I'm going to uh, hell. Yeah, yeah, me too. I don't <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, it's warmer and they play better down there, so I'm happy. Yeah. Uh, also some citrusy, lemony notes, the orange. Again, that a lot of, um, a touch of that leather. And I get a lot of that uh, kind of tart, funky, Barnyardy, wet hay kind of flavor. It's got a lot of decent amount of funk. Yeah, and some kind of it has that some kind of generic pilsner ness. Yeah, 
I it's just, super refreshing though. Yeah, it is extremely refreshing, but this is a very special beer. I like it more than the Black Ghost. Yeah, same here. And it's, it has almost a cheesy almost sensation maybe too. Ooh, this is a really different interesting saison. Yeah, it really makes one. me want to try more Phantom, and we yeah. can get one or more of the beers, hopefully, in the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen one with dandelions when I was alive, and I'd like to try that one because I know we can find it somewhere in Alborg. In we'll see if we can find it here in Purgatory. Yeah. But rating wise, for me, it's an interesting kind of brew. It's a very different saison than what you're used to. It's not refined at all. It's wild and different. I'm gonna go um, 88. It's it's a really nice and different. Saison? I'm, I'm gonna go straight up 90. This is, uh, well, it has a lot of complex characters and kind of, well, just, I have a very hard time defining a lot of the taste sensations, and the only thing I can say really about this beer is go out and try it. And so, uh, guys, that does it for the beer review of the Phantom Saison! Go to the camera, ghost! Yeah, come. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, remember to let us know what you think of it if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, uh, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. We'll see if we can post more reviews. Yeah. If we get from, from maybe from. maybe we're actually in a Buddhist life and we will be reborn as ourselves. Yeah. I hope I'll be reincarnated as a center of beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well because I hope I'll be bring yeast yeast our life. So, yeah, I, I, I'd rather be reincarnated as a man bear king or something, or like a yeti, but... Oh, who knows? Yeah. Cheers! And I will see you in another Hebrew, maybe! Well, I don't know who Mitt Romney does win the uh, election. No, me neither. I, I don't trust a guy who doesn't here. Oh, wait! Oh, look, a beer! Yeah, nice! Oh, let's try this. Cheers! Cheers! Actually, it's quite kind. It's a chill. Yeah, I feel like a ghastly wind on my shoulders.